What is greatness? What does it mean to be great? What does it take to be great? Who determines like what greatness is? Is it a money thing? Is it like a fame thing? Like, do you have to have like a lot of wealth or like a lot of like a massive following and then are you considered someone that is great? Like, what are the, what are the standards? Like, what are we after? Like, I find it really interesting because society will even compare people. Like LeBron, he's great, but he's not Michael Jordan. Like. It's really interesting because even when you're at the top, it's like there's so many different kind of factors and things that kind of determine whether or not you're great. Like one person will say one thing and someone else will say something completely different. And I'm of the opinion of, well, what do you think? Like, what do you think about yourself? And so I love talking about this idea of greatness. Like, don't even get me started on like, you know, Novak, Federer and Adal. Like, don't even get me started on those three. But it's just something to really just think about because if it's if it's different people that are, that are saying different things, I think it's the most important opinion and the most important criteria to kind of hit is your own. And so in this video, I wanna kind of go through what greatness kind of can mean, I suppose, and what are the things that are in the way of us attaining our own greatness. This might get a little bit deep, but actually might get extremely reflective. And that's what I'm hoping this video to be anyway, because I don't wanna just keep this stuff like surface level, because I feel like there is so much more to it. So let's get to it. The first thing I would like to share with you when it comes to things that get in the way of our greatness is this idea of a poor mindset because we have to deal with what's going on up here before we change what's going on out there. I'm gonna drop a heavy question on you. Like, do you believe you are worthy of greatness? Do you believe you are worthy of success? Like these are big questions to ask ourselves and sometimes it can even be confronting because what if the answer is no? Like, what if you truly believe that you aren't worthy of greatness, that you aren't worthy of success? Then it's like, oh crap, do I leave everything now? And do I just kind of like let go and just kind of run away from my problems or run away from like my dreams and let my dreams just die in the grave with me? Like, is that what I do? And like, I've had this feeling many times. Like I've, I've, I've often wondered whether or not I was worthy of success, worthy of greatness many, many times. I often still do. And upon reflection, um, there's, I think for me, it happens in two ways. Like I feel like my self-belief has been diminished when one, someone has either told me that I'm not worthy of something or two, something has happened to me in my life that makes me feel as if I'm unworthy of it. And I think, like, I don't really, I haven't really experienced or felt any other variation of those two things. And so I'm gonna ask you those two questions. Like one, has anyone ever said something to you that makes you feel like you're not worthy of it? Or two, have you experienced something in your life that makes you feel like you're not worthy of success or greatness? Like, has, that, has any of those two things ever happened? And if the answer is yes, like that is the cause of why we feel like we are unworthy, then we have to know this, that they are external. Like it is external to ourselves. Like our true self is aside from those two things. So that means that if those two things didn't happen, then you wouldn't be questioning it. That you will feel you are great and you would feel that you are worthy of greatness. Like it, it's like, it's almost like we are born great. It's just that um, unfortunately things and things are said, like things happen and things are said that makes us feel like we are not. So with that understanding, we can push forward. With that understanding, we can know that greatness is our birthright. We can do well if we want it. We can do extremely well if we want it. We just have to decide for ourselves. And yes, it might take a lot of thinking. It might take a lot of like negating what people have said and negating our experiences and then negating how we felt in that moment about ourselves that make us feel like we are unworthy. Like we have to negate those things. But after that process is done, we can go forth with power. In fact, you know what? We can do in spite, like in spite of feeling like we are unworthy, we can try anyway. But the reason why I feel like this is so important for us to mention and so important for us to talk about is because ultimately at the end, right, when the final, when, when, it, when it comes to execution, like that last shot in a match, right, when you're up ahead and you're trying to execute and like close off the set, right, it's up to how you feel about yourself. It's at the end, it's, it's a mind game. Like when, when Fed and Nadal are on a court, they're not battling, they're, like their skills aren't battling, right? Like their mindset's battling. 
right? It's not how good a person can hit a forehand or a backhand, right? It's what's going on up here. That's This is the game that we all end up playing in the end. Anyway, so that's the first thing. Like poor mindset gets in the way of our, of our ability to achieve success. So work on talking to yourself positively, right? Like literally just hype yourself up and like convince yourself that you are worthy of success because you are my friend. The second thing that gets in the way is the lack of clarity. Like how do you define greatness? Is it in wealth? Is it in, is it in fame? Like define it for yourself. Like what does it mean for you to be great? Like I need you to get really clear on this because if we don't, then what it means, it's like, it's almost like as if we booked a plane ticket that reminds me I need I need to book my flights. But like, it's almost like as if we... <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry, are you? <laughs> it's like as if we like we booked a plane ticket and the, the ticket doesn't have the gate nor does it have the terminal. And so we rock up to the airport and we need to find like, like we need to we need to find which flight to catch. And so we're running up, up and down all the terminals across the airport and everything only to eventually find it later on down the track. Like not having clarity is a little bit like that. Like it's extremely inefficient. So get clear. Are you after wealth? Are you after like healthy relationships? Are you after like a positive family? Like what are you after? Define what greatness means to you. Another thing that gets in the way of our success is we put short term over long term. I think like many people, we fall into the trap of thinking that we have time. And before you know it, we end up being old and yet still like have not yet taken a step to achieve those goals that we wanted to. And at that time, at that point in time, we have a body that's too old and too frail to continue. I still remember when I read that quote from Naval in 2020, when he said this, he said, all self-help boils down to choosing long-term over short-term. And that my friends is the challenge. Because we can press snooze in the morning, we can scroll through our phones for hours on end. We can leave that assignment to last minute. We can do all these things because it's an easy decision to make. In fact, it's almost like as if we don't, there's no decision at all, it just automatically just happens. But every single time we make those decisions, every single time we let those things happen, we put our long-term success on hold. And the way our mind works, it convinces itself that it's not a big deal. <laughs> no biggie. Why do we get done eventually? Oh, we'll get that success eventually. Greatness will come eventually. Like our mind just convinces itself that that is just how it's going to be. But if we forecast our mind one, two, five years in advance, that's, and that's when we can see the price being paid and we lose out. So my ask of you is, is that you choose long-term over short-term. And I know it's hard, so do it more often than not. Okay, I'm not gonna ask you to do it every single time because it is, it, it is tough to do. If you can do it every single time, great. But if you can't, that's absolutely understandable. Just maybe from now on, choose it more often than not. And speaking of leaving things to last minute, procrastination, huge. That's one of the biggest things that, that gets in our way of achieving greatness. Like imagine if you never procrastinated, like ever, how productive would you be? How great would you be? Like think about the past three years. How much of the past three years have you spent procrastinating? Imagine if you use that, that time that you spent procrastinating working towards your goals. I wonder where you'd be right now. I wonder where I'd be right now. Look, I'm of the opinion that everybody procrastinates. I just think great people just do it less. One of the big ways that I'd like to tackle this is by asking myself five whys. I'll give you an example. Why am I leaving this assignment to last minute? Because I don't find it interesting. Why don't I find it interesting? Because I feel like it doesn't align with the purpose that I first started studying the subject for. Why doesn't it do that? Because it is completely irrelevant to the subject. Is there any other reason? I actually don't want to do the work. Why? Because it's a lot of work. So actually, really one, it's because I feel like the assignment is irrelevant. And two, it's because I'm also, I'm also not wanting to do the work. Like for me, like just naming those two things, it kind of just brings it to the forefront of my for, forefront of my mind. The reason, like the proper reason why I'm procrastinating. It's not because I'm just leaving things last minute just in general. It's because like, I just want to make sure that I'm doing meaningful work because that's what I value. And two, I just don't want to be working hard because maybe I'm a lazy person, right? Maybe I need to learn to work a little bit harder and just put my head down and get the work done. Like me just naming those two things is kind of just, it kind of like, 
eases the tension when it comes to actually doing the work. May not solve the whole problem, but at least for me personally, it's something that gets me started. Now we know that greatness takes a lot of time and effort as well as undivided attention. In other words, we need to learn how to focus, especially for long periods of time. And so I've made this video right here that you can check out that goes through a few ways that can just help you focus a little bit better. And hopefully with this video and that video, you have everything you need to achieve success and achieve greatness. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.